and all that good stuff will change depending on which items you guys use but essentially there you go hey what is going on everybody welcome back after months and months of waiting we now finally have the update that we have been waiting for a very long time because as you guys know this update was first released to android users but now today we finally are able to play this now there are a lot of changes with this update and technically we got not one but two because 3.6 was fir first released and now we are in 6.2 we do have a lot of well not a lot but we have quite a few new units that came out with with the latest one 6.2 and this is what i want to focus on today i do not want to go over the details i, I will p show you guys the things that are new here you guys can read it and figure it out for yourself but today i want to take a look at this brand new awesome unit the juggernaut which he first of all he looks super awesome now one of the things that you guys will notice from the jump is that we it's, it's it, the upgrading system has been redesigned from the ground up and it's actually not as easy to update update your units as it used to be before and you guys will notice that the stats also look a lot different we have items that we can equip and as you guys can see all of my items are in level one because like i said the update just came out today and i wanted to get this out as soon as possible so you guys can get to see some gameplay and maybe decide if you guys want to spend uh i think it was nine thousand coins that i that i spent with this one but long story short this unit is super awesome he does have three abilities the first one is he knocks the enemies bad he's range resistant i don't know what that means i'm assuming that's bullet resistant and he has the chance of not becoming a zombie health he has 400 for well here's the thing let's not even get caught up with with all of the stats because as you guys can see i have items and with those items they will improve the health the melee damage agility critical chance of damage critical damage and preparation time all that good stuff now all of my items are level one i'm actually was able to bring him up to level 10. like i said it takes a long time to actually upgrade your units now but I was able to bring him to level 10 so we are going to take a look and see how cool he is now i cherry picked this mission so i was doing some supply runs here uh, but essentially what i want to do here is i want to show you guys his special ability well i wouldn't say a special ability but maybe it is a special ability or a special attack which is super super awesome and his attack will come into play when we have a lot of zombies grouped together and you guys will get to see that in a second so we have those police zombies there let's go ahead and take the joker now he's only level nine i have all of the items in level one too so his, his attack and health and all that good stuff will change depending on which items you guys use but essentially there you go that is his super attack maybe i don't know what you guys want to call it but he does that attack where he jumps back and he does like a ground pound super hammer i don't know but it's super awesome and of course now as you guys can see the zombies have the level icon so you guys can see how strong the zombies are going to be per level uh right now they all seem to be into level five and of course those zombies will do uh infection infection once we kill them but that shouldn't be too bad because Juggernaut has a lot of health and, and if I bring another one and just drop this here I will be able to get some more power out of them but as you guys can see they do qu quite do a lot of damage but like I said keep in mind that the damage health um, critical attack and all that good stuff will depend on the items that you guys use and even at level 9 he's still pretty good and even with the items that I put um, equipped to this unit he still does a pretty good job and all of those items are level one imagine if we max out all of those uh, items he will be even better than what you guys can see here let's go ahead and take actually let's wait a little bit more and even when he's infected his i don't think none of my units have died yet and that goes to show you guys how much health is he's a he's a super tanky unit but this is only stage five or uh, no this is probably stage four um so this is not too too hard you guys will be surprised how powerful the zombies are now so overall although the units have increased in health 
and power-ups and all that good stuff the zombies did as well so it's not just one-sided thing so we do have the horror coming let's go ahead and take all of our units out and take this mission because you guys will also see that once we finish the mission you guys will get to uh you guys do we do get quite a few of items uh, we get level one items we we also get upgrade points i think that's what the, what they call it now where we can use those points to upgrade our units it's not like before where we have the item and then you have to pay in a certain amount you actually have to pay uh for the upgrade but you also have to use the upgrade points i didn't get no i didn't get no upgrade points this time those are those purple coins uh but some um missions will have those as well now how well will he do in the supply run now for this one i already tried it we were able to do pretty good there are other stages where he doesn't do so well but what i have found with the little time that i have playing this update oh, i don't know will this even work let's see well, maybe i will have to get another range unit um, what I have noticed is that if you guys struggle with one um, supply run, you guys will, will you guys will have to. Oh, wow, that was quick. Go ahead and let's go. Let's exit this. I think I want to get another range unit. What you guys will notice is that you actually guys have to switch your strategy quite often depending which stage you try. So that was uh, and something that's pretty awesome is that we now can have up to four decks that we can do for this mission though i do think that i want to maybe use this guy or pretty much anybody even this one too this one but i don't know if i well let's let's see this let's try this one first and then we'll maybe do another one too uh but like i said for this specific mission so there are three different levels there's easy hard and normal and even the normal mode is pretty hard too so i'm struggling a lot today because there you go finally we were able to get those out of the way i'm struggling a lot today because wow we might have to use a power up let's do this because i do not have a lot of items i do not have a lot of items all of my items are level one uh so let's do bring actually let's bring this guy super powerful guy so you guys get to see how well he will do here um all of my items are level one i'm expecting things to get not easier but a lot more comfortable once i upgrade my items to probably like maybe midway even level five that should be fine because right now like i said i'm struggling a lot trying to get items because the levels are super hard and the good items if you want to get good items Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you want to get good items, you guys will have to. Oh my god, the summers are so annoying. Um, but since for, actually, can we get rid of this guy? Oh, I made a mistake. There you go. Let's get turbo. I want to get turbo. The reason why I want, want why I want to get turbo in supply run is because she will go to the barricade and finish it quick. The juggernaut is good, but he is super slow for that. I actually forgot what I was saying. But essentially, once we upgrade our items this will oh she, she's dead not sure if we'll be able to finish this one uh, i was hoping that turbo will just go straight to the birthday we lost the war units and you guys will see this um once we get to the birthday um the juggernaut he is really good but like i said he's super slow so by the time we finish this mission we might not have enough um time left for us to go finish it because once we get the horde, there is no way that we're going to be able to win, especially at my level where all of my items are only level one. Come on, he keeps going back and forth, but I want him to go straight for the birthday. Oh no, and we lost so and yeah, so there is no way that we are going to be able to finish this mission on time. Because once Sonja comes back to life, she will be a witch and she might get us. Well, she went the other way. And something that I have noticed it, what I have noticed today is to there is there is quite a few of bugs that i can see well i will call buff glitches whatever you want to call it but you know what i don't even care because i've been waiting for this update to come out for such a really long time that i do not care now let's go ahead and try um another supply run i've been having a lot of fun with that supply run i did not care in the last update because there was nothing 
uh, for me to really do. But now that I have to get items, this one should be a lot easier. Um, now that I have to get items, I have no other choice but to get. Wow, we happen to also get those two. Oh, this was not a good idea. Um, let's not get turbo because actually I want to. I would rather this work. I, I do not want to lo lose my policeman or Carlos, but we can lose this guy. Um, I rather just. Wow, I, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Um, oh, oh, I was talking about supply run. So I did not care for the supply run before, but now that I have to grind, I shouldn't, I shouldn't use a power up here. I think we should be fine. Now that I have to grind to get the items that I need to make my unit stronger and not struggle so much in these supply runs, I have no other choice but to do it. Whereas as before, it was okay like it was cool it was a new concept to the game but i didn't really care as much but i today i have been spending a lot of time and i'm actually glad that we no longer have to spend our fuel to do the supply run i don't i, I forgot if that was the case before um but just doing the supply run today i've been having such a good time and it really does make a big difference this time around where for players like myself where we pretty much almost have to start from the ground up when it comes to upgrading our units uh, and getting the best items that we can get to make them stronger does make a big difference. And I'm not gonna like I have been playing all day. And although my units are not that powerful, the most powerful at the moment, I'm trying my best to try to get as many legendary items and see if see we got quite a few uh items there and also not only do you have to get items but you also have to upgrade your items as well so like i'm so hyped for this update and i cannot wait to um keep making more content for you guys i know i said that before but like we legitimately didn't have nothing for uh for the end of the game for players like myself who have been playing for a very long time but now that this is in place are we going to get a new stage soon i'm hoping that is the case um and i'm just going to I'm going to quickly give you guys a sneak peek as to what's coming. And if you guys go here to my team, we have the scientists. We have this guy. We have this one. We have this one. And we have this awesome looking drone. So stay tuned. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.